Today is a day that I've been waiting for for a long time. Me and my best friend, Joao Felix, grew up playing football together. And well, today, we're going to be playing with each other yet again. Yes, we've played for each other on Portugal, but Barcelona have decided to go out, make an offer, and Joao Felix, welcome to Barcelona. I'm picking him up from the airport, and he is going to be the newest face to this team on our hunt to win yet another Champions League title. This is unheard of. The attack we're going to have on this team, three Ballon d'Or nominees, Dembele, Felix, and myself up front. Oh my God. He's 93 overall, 25 years of age. Of course, we are both the same age. We practically say, play the same positions. The only problem is he's in poor form. So we'll see if the manager picks him for the starting 11 in these next few games. Into it we go. I'm just so freaking pumped, man. Felix on Barcelona, huge signing. I'm not sure the exact number of what Barca paid, but I am sure that it was a very, very good amount. Into the Champions League we go, though. He is definitely going to be a face that hopefully will help us to secure the treble this year. We will see. We've received a really, really good draw in the round of 16 after topping Chelsea in our group. We're going to be taking on Bayer Leverkusen. So let's do it, boys. Let's get into this action. And we are unfortunately going to get into it without Felix. Not in the starting 11. Hopefully, he's going to be coming off the bench. I guess it kind of makes sense. He kind of just signed with his team. He's maybe still learning the tactics, formations. Um, I don't think that's an excuse, though. You saw the date of this game, February 19th. We purchased him in January. I don't know why he's not in the starting 11. He's our highest rated striker. Lopez, who is playing striker for us right now, is only 85 rated, and his main position is left mid. So, I don't know what's happening. Of course, FIFA being FIFA, as always, I don't know, boys. Bayer Leverkusen is the opponent, and maybe this is a team we shouldn't be taking as lightly as I'm thinking. They still have Kai Havertz. They have KDB. They have some big name players. Let's get into this, man. A wing leg to start it off. Oh my God. I'm trying to score some more fancy goals. I've been, I don't know. A lot of the shots I take get cut out. Some of the kind of bad, bad ones. But look at this, boys. The skill, of course it goes in. He's offside. Oh man, that would have been phenomenal. Leading up right there. I was just dribbling all over to the fence. Like I'm saying, though, man, I'm trying the skill. I'm trying more, I don't know, spectacular shots, trying to use more flair, I guess I should say. And today, this game at least, is just not working. We scored a few nice goals in the last episode. Here, though, in Germany against Leverkusen, it is not looking good for us. Away leg, some goals here would be huge. We're going for the bicycle kick. Oh my God. Speaking of goals using some flair, how do I would have put this one in, man? Oh my God. I probably would have just retired then and there. And it's about freaking time. Felix entering the game for the first time as a player wearing this Barcelona kit. Will I be able to get him his first goal? right here incredible pass not to felix but either way that needs to be scored 100 percent 69th minute yet again header cleared off the line and then this shot well ew boy let's just not talk about that it's been a bit of a rough game to say the least and that is how the game is going to end we got some work to do moving into leg number two which is going to take place later in this episode back to barcelona we should be able to win that but well, this team gave us a very, very tough match. So we shall see how that one goes. Nil-nil. Not very often we see nil-nil games, but we're seeing one right here. And if you missed it a few episodes back, Messi signed for us as our new agent. And he kind of gave me a new welcome gift. Look at this sports car, man. Oh my God, I've been in need of a new car. And let's just say I've never driven a car like this before. So fast. I was um, a bit over my head, man. Literally nearly hitting a car, hitting a pedestrian <laughs> as soon as I take off. And it took me a minute to get the hang of it. Like I said, I've never driven anything like this. So fast, so powerful. I'm losing control on the road. Oh my God. 
Bros, get this thing out of my hands. I need to, I need to just exit it because like I'm about to run someone over, something over. Luckily, we, we figured things out without killing ourselves in the process, but that car, insane. We've been needing one for a while, like I said, and the boy Messi coming in clutch. It's so sick that we're able to get Messi actually in the cutscenes. I mean, wow. One thing that I will say, not to like toot my own horn or anything, but um, if you go back and watch the My Player from the first year I did it to the episodes now, the storylines just look so much different. And I know the retro like storylines and stuff like you guys probably like that, but we've just been able to take it to the next level. I've been able to make these things just so much better. The commentary has just progressed so much throughout the years, man. We've been doing the My Player for almost five years. It's crazy that I still have storylines at this point. I mean, yes, I have repeated a lot and a lot of storylines in the past, but for the most part, man, I'm keeping it as unique as possible, trying to give each My Player kind of his own personality, his own set of skills. And overall, I think Rafael Ruiz is our most well-rounded My Player of all time. Getting started in this game, we need to bounce back after that nil-nil draw. Look at the skill, boys. Look at the shot. Beautiful. 1-0. Atletico Madrid. Felix taking on his former team. If he were in the starting 11, he's back on the bench. Of course he is, man. Of course Barcelona isn't going to start the highest rated player on their team. I don't get it. I just don't get career mode anymore, man. I don't get it. Nice goal right here, though. Beautiful shot, man. I love that. Um... La Croqueta skill that we use leading up to that one outside the box banger. And would it be an episode if Rafael Ruiz didn't score? Have we have we done that? Have we had an episode where we haven't scored or gotten an assist? Honestly, I don't think so. I think in every episode we've either scored or gotten an assist. And I mean, yeah, he's continuing here. Yet another shot, 23rd minute. We're absolutely dominating Atletico Madrid. That was until this. Martinez threw. The Argentinian banks it off the post. We get extremely lucky. Oh, man, I spoke too soon. St. Maximum right here, boys. The former Newcastle man. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's unlucky. Well, the first shot was unlucky for Martinez. And then they clean it up. It's kind of what I expected would happen. Great rebound goal right here, man. I love that dude's hair. I love it. The blonde hair is just so smooth, so sick. It's honestly very similar to the hairstyle that we use with Rafael Ruiz. And that will do it for the first half. Really, really good contest right here. Two teams atop the table in La Liga. And even though we're fighting and clawing our way through the Champions League round of 16, we got to play these big groups, or league games, not groups, these big league games. And check this out. A PK is given. What is this foul? Why? Why are you doing that? Like, there is no need to do that. He's running away from goal. <laughs> I'll take it, though, because you know who's going to be sent to the spot, boys. It's going to be your boy, Rafael Ruiz. I was a little nervous when Felix came on that maybe they would give him the PK. But no, we are the number 10. We are the captain. We're sent to take it 1v1 against one of the best goalkeepers in the world, Oblox. Top left. And you already know... We're never going to miss that in a million years. The 110th goal of our career, plus one to our finishing. But we already have 99 finishing, so that literally does not matter. It does not make a difference. And we go back. We take the lead. 2-1 is your score. What a pen, man. The pens I've been taking lately, I don't have 99 pens. Honestly, my penalties are pretty low. I think we only have, like... 83 84 and i say pretty low that's actually not bad but compared to my other stats it is low and in the 93rd 90 yeah 93rd minute we already won the game but we do this man my first ever connection with felix here at barcelona yes we did it when we were kids yes we did have done it for the national team but right here right now this is the first for Barcelona. Great cross, and Felix is there, man. He's behind that are the defender, but he still gets his head on it. There's gonna be a lot of that this season, man. And although there have been talks that I may want to leave after this season, leave Barca. I don't know if I'm gonna do it now. That Felix is here alongside me. 
But we'll see. We are just focused right now on winning at all costs with Barcelona. So let's keep doing that, man. We've been doing it so far, and we have a big game coming up next. A request for Barcelona's third Champions League title in a row. Well, it could all be put to a halt. If Bayer Leverkusen beats us next, and it may not be Bayer Leverkusen getting in the way, but this massive storm that has been rolling through Barcelona, man, I haven't really been able to leave my house too much because the thunder, the lightning, the waves, everything, it is one of the biggest storms I think I've experienced in my life. I just arrived home from the last game and a few training sessions have been called off. It is not pretty out, man. Especially me living on an island. It's a bit dangerous. The flooding that could ensue. I'm just hoping this storm stops soon. It's supposed to roll through town for at least the next week. So we'll see what happens, man. As you can see, the rain is falling here. The storm continues. Oh, boy. Let's just um, hope that that doesn't affect us. Imagine we somehow end up losing this game because of the conditions. Let's just go for it, man. Here we go. In to the third and final game of the episode. Winner of this one is going to advance to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Some pretty good teams are going to wait, as you saw, from the remaining teams. The bracket at the beginning of this game. Yeah, I am very interested to see if we were to win this, who we would play. But that is a big if, boys. We got to go ahead and win this one. And Ter Stegen, oh my, keeping us in this game all first half. It was him. Kai Averts with a shot right here. And this could have been the save of the episode, I think. Beautiful stuff from him. And we're through another 45 minutes. And it's been kind of crazy. Bayer Leverkusen, Barcelona, both deadlocked nil-nil. This is going to come down, I think, to just whoever scores first. And let's hope it's not Leverkusen. Because if Leverkusen scores first and gets that away goal, we are going to have to come back. And we are going to have to score two ourselves because, yeah, those away goals are crucial. We were unable to score one when we played them last. But we're going to do this right here. The back heel assist of dreams. 78th minute. Will that be all that we need to move on to the quarterfinals? I think it just might be, boys. Great breakaway right here. And was it ever in doubt? I don't really think so. Beauty of a pass. Beauty of a goal. And with that, we are going to be advancing. Yes, that's right. We are moving on. Or are we? The game would be in its final minutes. Shot taken right here by... Bayer Leverkusen, it's played out and it's not over yet. Another chance to win the game. Oh my God. It wouldn't have actually won the game, but it would have sent Bayer Leverkusen through on away goals. Luckily though, those two chances were missed. Could you have imagined one of those was put in? Oh my God, we got extremely lucky towards the end of that one, but we're moving on quarterfinals, man. And as we're leaving this game, the storm continues. It's been crazy in Spain, crazy in Barcelona. I got to get home as soon as possible, boys. We move forward and we move on to our next game where this was a risky one. We hopped on a flight in the dangerous conditions and it may not have been the best idea ever because the storm that we've been experiencing here in Barcelona is no joke. And while we're in the air, we experience something that could change my life forever. It could do more than just change it. It could end it. While flying, the plane gets struck by a bolt of lightning and down it goes. Will we be able to make it back to the landing pad or will we have to crash land? in the sea just off the coast of Barca. And could this be it for the series? 